Hi everyone, this is Beth. Um, I just thought I'd make a really, really quick video about how I was able to use Postman to mock um, a request with several different status codes and how that how that actually worked um, because I, I couldn't make sense of this straight away. So it's probably something that other people are struggling with too. So um, first things first, if you want to um, create a mock of an API that, and you then want to add different status codes to that mock, that mock needs to be um, private. So to do that, you just go into the mock servers part of Postman. I'm using Postman version eight. And let's create a new mock from scratch with a get method of get chocolate. I'm feeling hungry. Um, that returns a response code of 200 and an empty response body. So we want to call this food. And we want to save the mock um, server URL as an environment variable. So we want that. We want to make this mock server private because as you can see here, it says to call a private mock server, you'll need to add an X API key header to your requests. So that's something worth bearing in mind. So we're gonna create a new environment with this mock server called food. Okay, there we go. So we've got our food mock server. We have our food environment there. And if we go into the environment section, we can see that that has our URL. That's our mock, um, mock URL. And if we go into collections, we can see our get chocolate request. But of course, if we try and send a request to this mock URL, if we don't have examples, it's not going to work. So you can see 404 not found doesn't know what you want to bring back, what you want, what data response data you want to mock from that API. So we need to tell it what we want. And we do that by going to add an example. There's an, another menu here where you can do the same thing. So the two things that we need to um, generate this. So we're going to add in a status code of 401 and save that. And then we're also going to duplicate this request. We don't need to call it copy. We're going to call it the same endpoint. And this time we're going to have a 404, let's have 400 bad request. Okay, so we've got two endpoints, but they're named the same thing. So how do we get our mock to recognize which one to use? And how can we get that mock to work? So the trick is in the headers section, we need an API key firstly. So how do we get our API key? we need to ask Postman to generate one for us. To do that, we can go to our account and that just opens up in a web browser. I'm just gonna to go to the right section here. So we've got a Postman API key section. Chances are you won't have anything in here already. So you just need to go ahead um, ours is food, right? The name of our uh, the name of our collection. So generate that API key, copy the key to the clipboard, and then go back into Postman. So in your get request, you now need to click on the headers tab and add in an X API key with the value, you can either add this as an environment variable, which I shall, just because it looks neater, 
or you can go ahead and just paste the um, URL key in, uh, the API key in there. But I'm going to add this in here. So in our food, we have an X API key and the current value is this. So we save that here. Da, 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 da. So we go back into our collection here and we have our API key, awesome. So it's recognized that, it's turned it from red to orange, it knows what the API key is. And we can hit the button here and we get a 400 bad request. So Postman has recognized one of these variables, but what can we do to get it to recognize the other one, the 401 error? Now that's done by adding another header into the request that's called X mark response code. And here you put the number that you are looking to emulate. And we can see here it's brought back the other example, the 401. Obviously in these examples, they're fully configurable. So you can add different data. You can add different response bodies in here, etc., etc. But this X mocks response code at the get request, that's how you manage to change from different status codes. I hope this has helped you. Um, I believe this is useful for if you want to mock different um, status codes and ensure that your test cases still behave the way that they should when they come across maybe negative scenarios. But yeah, hope it helps.